Hey guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. Today we are going to be painting the cutest little seal. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I'm Miss Sarah and I hope that you enjoy this process of creating with me. Feel free to change up the flowers, change up the colors, do whatever you want to make this painting your very own. I'm going to be using a couple of brushes today. I have a large flat, a small flat, and a detail brush. These are what work for me, but you use what works for you, okay? Let's get started. First things first, we will always want to make sure we put our brush in some water, okay? It's very important because with acrylic paint, our brushes tend to seize up a little bit, or not brushes, but paint, sorry, our paint seize up a little bit. So we wanna take our brush, put it in some water. I'm gonna start with my large flat brush. Okay, so I just tap off the water gently on my jar or maybe on your cup, whatever you're using. And I have all my paints laid out for me so I can see them and get to them easily. I'm going to use quite a bit of white throughout this painting. So I don't wanna use up all of my pile of white at once. So I've separated it into different piles. That way I don't mess up my white with other colors, okay? That way they can mix separately. So first thing I'm gonna do is paint my background. That's the color around my seal. And mine's a really light pink. You can change that if you'd like and do a different color. But to get my pink, I'm going to use a touch of my red and mix it with some white, okay? And you can see how just a touch of red really contaminated that white and made it dark fast, didn't it? So I'm going to use just a touch at a time, okay, and get that really light pink. As soon as you like your color, go ahead and put that on around your seal. We wanna try and be careful not to paint inside our tracing. If you're using one of our patterns, we want to be gentle as we go around. Maybe slow down. You don't have to go as fast as Miss Sarah. You can go slower, okay? Or you can even pause the video if you feel like you need a little more time. Feel free to pause the video and take your time Okay, so I'm gonna carefully go around the seal as gently as possible. There we go. Sometimes we get in a hurry, huh, as artists, and we wanna fill in the background pretty quickly. But when we have a pattern, we do want to go a little slower around our pattern. The seal is so cute. I love her. You can make your seal a boy as well if you want to and not add the flower crown that's always something you can do okay here we go and fill in the bottom with my light pink as well this is where you can reach around your canvas and paint the sides so if you want to can do what we call wrapping our canvas. That's where you go all the way around the sides of your canvas and paint the sides and the top and the bottom. That way they're done too. All right, looks pretty good. I like this color. As soon as you feel like you love it, you just stop painting. We don't want to keep going over something it tends to Take away any of the um, texture that we have in our background. I love texture. So sometimes I just leave those fun streaks in my painting and let it be. All right. Don't forget to get in between your the head and your seal's tail there. It's an easy spot to forget, huh? All right, looks awesome. So now I'm gonna rinse my brush, okay. All right, let's go ahead now and start on our flowers. We wanna let our background dry for a minute and we're gonna put the first layer of our flowers in. 
So you can decide what colors you want to use for your flowers. My center flower is going to be pink and this flower is going to be blue and then my left flower is going to be turquoise. I want to start with my background flowers first. So I'm going to add a little bit of white to my blue. Remember, we're just doing a tiny bit of the color we want with white if you want it light, huh? Just a touch. Okay, we're going to save some dark blue for later. I don't want to use up all of it, so I'm just going to use a touch. Let's go ahead and fill in our flowers to start with. Okay, I'm going to bring up just a little bit here on the side of that one. There we go. Come around the bottom here. Now I am using a smaller flat for this part. The fun thing with flowers is they don't need to be perfect. The imperfections is what makes them so beautiful. So. You can just have some fun with your flowers, but this is just our first layer. Okay, so I'm rinsing my brush. I'm going to do my left flower now, and that one is turquoise. So I'm adding a little bit of white to some of my turquoise here. Getting a nice light turquoise. I'm going to save some of the dark turquoise for later. Okay, I'm going to fill this in. that. All the way to the edge there. We want it to look like it's coming from behind our flower, center flower, right? As if all of those petals are coming from behind. Just like that. Let's rinse our brush again. Make sure it's clean. Okay, now let's start on our center flower. So my center flower is going to be slightly darker than my background. So I'm going to add a touch of red to my white at a time until I get the pink I want. So I want a light pink, but not as light as my background. Slightly, slightly lighter. So I always want to start from the center and work my way out when I'm painting my flowers. Okay, you want your petals to start from the center because that's where they start in the first place, right? So we want to always paint that direction because our brush strokes will show that in our work. So I'm going to start from the center and work my way out. Of course, you can bring it back down a little bit from the edge, but always bring your brush stroke to the center where your flower begins. Working my way out and coming back. Okay. Out. All right, just like that. Okay, so we have our first layer on for our flowers, which is perfect. Let's just let that dry for a second. Okay, and by this point, your background should be pretty dry. So we're gonna use our large flat brush now. And I'm gonna teach you how to do some floating. So here's a little trick. I have put my large flat brush in water. It's loaded with water, okay? I'm gonna take my two fingers, looks like this, and I'm gonna press down on my brush. Does that water fall off? Okay, I want it to be very damp. I don't want it super dry, so I just gently brush that water off, okay? And I'm gonna float around my seal here. We call it floating. I'm gonna show you here. First, you wanna make some gray, and I'm not gonna use my big brush for this, I'm just gonna use a little brush, okay? Get some black on my brush, and mix it with some white until I get a gray that I like, right? It can be dark gray if you like dark gray, or it can be really light, which is how I wanted my gray to be. I want it really light. Remember how I said I separated my white because we're going to be using white a lot, and I don't want to contaminate all of my white. So here is some of my white. Okay, I've made my gray. I have my brush ready that I just gently pulled the water off, right? 
I'm going to put the corner of this brush in some gray, just like that. So I just turn my brush and dip the corner. Okay, and this is called floating. We're just going to take that part of our brush and go around the edge of our painting. It's our seal here, right? Just along the edge, just to give the illusion that our seal is gray without painting the whole thing gray. Now, if you want to paint your whole seal gray, go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the edge of my seal with that gray on my brush. You can also outline your seal gray, which we are going to do that in just a little bit. Okay, this is just an extra little detail that we like to do sometimes to give the illusion of something. So if I want um, just to have my edges gray, then that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to float it. And then I will come back and outline later. Ooh. Go around all those little toes. Takes a little bit of practice. All right. I'm going to come down here and do this edge as well. All right do the little toes all right you'll be surprised how little details like this do matter they add just a touch of color okay now if you feel like your brush is getting too full of gray and you need to start over just rinse it again Pull that water through again, okay? Put some gray on it again. Come back to it because that does happen as you're going. Your whole brush starts to fill up with the color and it doesn't float as well anymore. All right. I'm gonna keep going around here. I want the bottom of my tail is it a tail or a fin? I should look that up with the seal, huh? I wonder. You probably know. All right, so I'm gonna come all the way around, follow it back up. And get this side as well. So I start at the flower and work my way down the edge of my seal's head there just letting it turn gray now if you attempted this good for you this is something we start teaching our other our older artists so if you are learning how to float that is awesome all right so now that i've painted the edges of my seal we can start doing some other things so i'm going to grab my smaller flat brush rinse it off Okay, first thing I'm going to do now is paint my seal's nose. So you painted the edge gray. I'm just going to use that gray. I'm going to make a little more here. Make sure you have enough because once you start, you don't want to make some more. I mean, you always can, but it's nice to have it ready to go. All right, so as soon as you're ready, let's go ahead and paint our seal's nose to get us warmed up here. I'm going to go all the way around here, trying to stay in my seal's nose, not go out of the lines too much there. Okay. Brush it out. Make sure you have all those brush strokes. There you go. Happy seal. Now we're going to start doing um the spots on our seal right before we do any of the leaves or anything we want to make sure we have those so my first one is about right here i just curve out a little oval shape fill it in you can create these on your own got an oval shape there i'm gonna do a little circle here you can kind of make these up as you go have some fun with them they aren't all going to be the same. And that is the point. You want it to be your very own. Okay, do another one there. 
I'm just curving these out with my brush. If you want to use a smaller brush, totally can. I'm pretty loose with it too because I love to just see how it comes out <laughs> this way. And you're just putting them on there. Let's do another one over here. And I'm gonna put one more just right here on the toe. Just like that, it's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna come to the other side here. And put one on here, an oval shape there. Another one right below it. Like that, we're just gonna fill these in with our own little shapes, huh? Make it your very own. All those little spots that you see on, on the seals that are so fun, you're just doing them right now. Do another one here. You can come in a little bit if you want to not keep it directly on the edge or you can add them anywhere you want i've seen them on seals all over their bodies right some of them are covered in these spots that's up to you all right we're gonna do one there i'm gonna do kind of a long oval one here because that's kind of fun another little one here okay we'll do Two of them on our tail. And one up here. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Put one layer on here. I want my nose a little lighter. So I'm adding a little bit more white to my brush. Covering that nose a little more. It just dried kind of dark on me and I want it lighter. So if that happened to you, you can just add a little bit of white to your brush and lighten the nose. Okay guys, looks so good. Let's go back to our flowers. So I'm gonna grab a line brush or a detail brush, looks like this, and we're gonna do our leaves. So you get to create these how you want. I have this fun, bright green here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create a stem starting from the center of my flower there okay I'm gonna pull it out and up you can go up as high as you want to on that I'm gonna do the same thing over here okay start here and go to the center of my flower petals just like that now to create a leaf I like to do this I say Create a rainbow shape and connect it with a smile and fill it in. Okay, so you want to create a rainbow shape and connect it with a smile. Just like that. Rainbow shape, connect it with a smile. Rainbow shape and a smile love it okay well i have one more here i'm going to go ahead and put in there fill in that space and then one here rainbow shape and a smile i'm just going to sneak a little petal in there okay so we're going to come this side now Smile and a rainbow shape and fill it in. You can always make it bigger if you want to, right? Or you can keep it kind of small. All right. You can decide how big you want those petals to be. Oh, I went backwards. There we go, <laughs> rainbow shape and the smile <laughs> if we were taking an art class together our students would correct me rainbow and a smile they love to do that to miss sarah 
Miss Sarah, that's not right. Oh, rainbow and a smile. We'll sneak that in right there. All right, now this one is kind of hiding behind that petal, so I'm just gonna create the illusion of that one. Awesome. Okay, now let's add some leaves up top. Same idea, and you can put it anywhere you want. But I'm gonna put mine right here between these two petals. I'm gonna create my rainbow shape, and then my smile, just like that. And then we'll fill that one in as well. See, I want a little more of a point on my leaf. So you can decide if you want it to be round or more of a point, right? All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Rain or a smile that way, huh? Rainbow shape and the smile. We're gonna connect those here, right in between those two petals. Make mine a little bigger there. Once you put the, the main pattern on there, you can go as big or as small as you want on those leaves. I love it. Okay, so there we have it. Let's go have some fun with our flowers now while our leaves are drying, okay? So I've showed you what floating is. We're gonna do a little bit more of that with our flowers. So make sure you've created your blue. We're gonna start with blue, okay? We have our blue color here. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of white on the corner of my brush. And here we go. My white faces up and I'm gonna brush out away from the center And you'll notice because of the white on your brush, you get a natural highlight in your leaf. Okay, we're gonna leave that highlight alone. And while you have this blue on your brush, if you want to, you can paint your eyes. My eyes are the same color as that blue flower. So I'm gonna go ahead now and paint in my eyes. Just like that, all the way around. All right. Trying not to pick up my brush when I do circles. That is the trick I have found with circles. If you try and go around without picking up your brush, usually you can get a better circle, but that takes some practice. You can't be too shaky. Ooh, and Miss Sarah's very shaky tonight. Okay, but we managed it, look at there. Okay, so we're gonna fill in those eyes with black in a minute, the center of them. You just wanna get the blue on there. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry right now. It looks a little scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's rinse up fresh. Okay, and we're gonna go do our turquoise now, flower. So I'm making sure I have enough turquoise mixed. Okay, now I'm gonna put a touch of white on the corner of my brush for my turquoise for the edges. You might not be able to see it very well on the camera, but if you look at the picture that comes with your paint kit, if that's what you did from our studio, you can kind of see how the white, I'll try and make it a little wider for you so you can see it better. You see how the edges are lighter? Okay, that's the idea. And then I'm gonna show you how to make it darker in the center. Let that dry. You'll be able to see it pretty well with the center flower, I believe. Let's try it. Okay, so I have red on my brush now. Put some white on the corner. Make sure your brush is rinsed. Mine has a little bit of blue still showing up in there. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of white on the corner. Here we go. And now I'm gonna start from center. See that, that white showing up in my flower? 
along the edges. The white goes on the very corner of your brush. I'm just gonna brush it out along the edges of your flower. This is optional, okay? You don't have to do this if you prefer not to. I just, I like to add little things like this just for texture and a little detail. Okay, so I'm always working from the center of my flower. Just like that, okay? And then I'm going to show you how to add that low light to the center of your flower. Okay, so we're going to go over to our blue one. Okay, now I'm going to just take my dark blue on the corner of my brush. And I'm going to add that shadow along the edge of my flower. We're just going to brush in a little bit of that dark in the center out towards our leaves. Okay, now let's do it with our turquoise. Rinse your brush. Get just a little bit of that turquoise on the corner of your brush. All right, then we're gonna float the edge here. Anywhere you think there might be a little bit of a shadow showing up. So I'm gonna brush out away from that center flower and follow that leaf a little bit there. Brush out and away. Okay, just adds that little bit of shading to our flower without a lot of work. Okay, we're gonna do the same with the red, so, or the pink. I'm gonna put just red on the corner of my brush. Right, I'm gonna follow this flower out, just like that. And now this one. I'm just following that outer edge to give it that shading, starting from the center of my flower. So I can create a petal without too much effort. Here we go, I'm gonna create another shade here. And a little bit here as well. Okay, now this one I'm gonna put some on top just to show the separation. Right. So now that you have your shading on there, you can just play with it. You can blend it in a little bit or just leave it alone. Now I'm going to go from the center out, right? Create a middle, brush away from the center just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful already, right? You haven't even finished it yet, but it's almost there. Okay, let's go back to our leaves. Make sure you have a good layer of green on those leaves. Here's our finish up work. Just gonna brush in. So you have all of that done now. So all you've gotta do is the finish up work. So we're just gonna brush in the leaves here and we'll add the center. Go. Make sure you add a good layer of that green on there. Through the top ones, all the way down. Remember to make that rainbow shape and the smile as you follow your leaf pattern. And there you go, your leaves are done. All right guys, let's finish up the center of our eyes. Let our leaves dry for just a minute and let's finish our eyes. I'm gonna get some black on my detail brush but I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my black because I want it to be super inky. So I'm gonna stir some water in my black here. I'm using my detail brush Okay, I'm gonna come here to the center of my eyes, create a circle, and then fill it in. Circles are tricky. 
You gotta be nice to yourself when you're doing circles. They just are not easy to do. Go all the way around this one. They're hard to get right, you know? So do your best. That's all you can do on circles. <laughs> do your very best. Okay. Now that I've done my circles, I'm looking at this one and it needs to be a little bigger. So I'm going to make it a little bigger to match my other one. So you'll notice that when you're doing circles that sometimes You'll need to do that to match them up. Okay. But don't stress it too much. Sometimes if we keep going, pretty soon your circles get so big, they take over the whole eye. So we have to know when to stop, huh? That looks pretty good. Let's let those dry a second. And we're gonna do our little nose. I love doing this nose because it's just so fun and easy and cute. We're gonna create a Y shape with our nose. Just create a Y. See that? So there's the top of my Y. And then I'm going to come down the center, center for the tail, but I'm going to curve it a little bit so it looks a little round. Okay. Now you can do it straight if that feels better to you. You've got to do what works, huh? What works for you. Do that. And then I'm going to put a little smile almost a mischievous smile here. Like what is she thinking about or he thinking about? Right? Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute. Now let's do around the eyes. This is probably the trickiest part, right? For some of you. So I want you to just imagine a rainbow shape going around the eye. All right, so we're gonna start here. We're going to go around the eye. Now, if you run out of paint like I did right there as you're going around the eye, that means you don't have enough water in your paint. So I needed to add more water. Okay, so we're going to go around the eye and meet the other side. No, oh, no, I smeared my, my mouth. Okay, we can fix that. All right, now the eye here, the eye shape gets thicker on top to give the illusion of an eyelid. So when you come around the top, you can kind of thicken that a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go do the other side now and start here. Do a rainbow shape around the eye. All the way down. I'm gonna go back and just make sure it's thicker up here for my eyelid. And go back around, just thicken it up a little bit. I got a drip. Right there. There we go. Got it. Okay. Once you get those on, you can add those cute eyelashes in a minute. But first, we want to add some shading. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then we'll come back to our eyelashes. Okay, the great thing with this seal is if there's something that bugs you, like if you don't like your eyelid or if something feels wrong, all you have to do is put some white on your brush and you can cover it up. All right, so I'm just going to go fix my seal's mouth right here. See where I smeared my black? Just go right over it. There we go. like it never happened, right? There you go. Okay guys, 
We are almost done. Let's finish up our flowers now. They've had just a minute to dry. So I'm gonna start with my blue one and put just the blue paint on my brush. We're gonna add these lines. Okay, just start from the center. Give yourself some strokes coming out, as many as you want to. There we go, rinse our brush. Go to our turquoise, do the same thing, but we're just putting the turquoise on our brush. All right, and we're brushing out. Anywhere you feel, and it's not super noticeable um, with the turquoise. That's why we um, add some black later to show it off. Okay, now let's do our center flower. I have one coming up pretty high here. Oop, come straight down and you can do it longer or you can do them short. This is where you can have some fun. I really wanted to do these Hawaiian flower type <laughs> um, crown on our seal here. Just cause it, you know, a seal reminded me of the ocean and the ocean makes me think of Hawaii. So that is what we did. So fun. Okay, so once you do that, just flip your brush around, use the back of it, put some red on the back. So it looks like this, looks like a chocolate chip. And you're gonna stamp these little dots on each of those, each of those lines you just created in the center of your flower. I'm sure it has a special name. I don't know what it is at the moment, but you can tell me when you see me. All right, so I'm gonna add these little dots. we're going to do the same with our blue. So just wipe off the brush, put some dark blue on the back, and stamp all those dots anywhere you like. Wipe it off, and we'll do the same with the turquoise. Oh, that's not turquoise. Wipe it off. I grabbed the wrong color. Turquoise. There we go. We'll do the same with our turquoise. Even if it's not super noticeable, it adds detail, and texture. It's so fun. All right, wipe off your brush. Now I'm gonna use my big brush again, now that my eyes have dried. Okay, and we're gonna float that gray just along the top of our nose like this. See that? It just makes it look like um, it has some depth there. Just kind of curve it around like a rainbow shape, right? And we're going to do the same around the eyes just to give it some depth there. Don't worry, if you paint over the black a little bit, you can put it back when you do your eyelashes. So no worries. Okay, just make sure we add a little bit of shading around our eyes. And curve it like a rainbow above the nose. Curve your brush. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's finish up our eyes. So if you did what I did here, maybe paint it a little bit into your eye, don't worry. You can just come back with your black. See that? Just paint right back over it. Same on this side if you feel like, whoop. It's all right. No big deal. Just like that. And now we're going to add our eyelashes. So I did three little eyelashes on mine. Right? So I'm going to start my eyelash, curve it like a smile. 
One, two, three. Now once you do your um, eyelash, I like to thicken up the edges or the bottom part a little bit if you want those thicker eyelashes. Kind of fun to do if you want to try that. I'm going to do it on this side now. One, two, three. And now I'll just thicken up the bottom part a little bit. Just like that. Love it. Now you can take some of your black. Okay, then just come in here, add some of those black lines to your, the center of your flower. You can kind of see how it helps it show up just a little bit. If you feel like it's not showing up very much. Okay, and I added just a touch of black to the center of my leaves just like that just adds a little bit of detail okay all right we're just gonna do our highlighting now and add our little red dot flowers okay so if you want to do this just grab your biggest brush use the back of it and I just did these little dots stamp them Kind of zigzagged, zigzaggy here, all the way down, just like that. It just adds some fun color here. See, I'm just stamping it, then I zigzag them a little bit. You can add as many dots as you want to this. There you go, just fills in the space. Wipe off the back, because we're just gonna finish up our highlighting really quick here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the light in the center of my eye. Use the back of your brush. I'm gonna do a dot in each eye. It gives us a little bit of a sparkle. And then I'll do a smaller dot right on the corner. I like to spin my brush if I want it bigger. You can just spin it, see that? Okay, give it a little sparkle. And now let's add our highlighting to our painting. So just take your smallest brush and put some white on it and we're just going to add these fun little light strokes to our leaves to give it a simple highlight. Anywhere you think the sun or the light might be touching your leaf. So you don't have to follow me, you can do whatever you feel the light might be touching. Okay, we'll do the same with our flowers. Just a little bit of light here. You'll be surprised how much it adds to your painting. And a little bit above the top of the nose. And I like to put some in my eyes sometimes too. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna put it on the other side. Once again, it's just what you're feeling, right? Beautiful. Okay. You guys, you did an amazing job. The last thing you can do, if you want to, first of all, is add these fun little whiskers, right, to our seal. Don't want to forget our little whiskers. I didn't do them all the same. I wanted you to just feel like you could do 
anything you want and it's super cute because really I've seen artists do all kinds of things with these cute whiskers. Once your whiskers are done, there we go. Once your whiskers are done, you can add this little line here if you want. It's kind of a shadow. And then I'm gonna outline my seal. Now, not every artist likes to outline. So we leave it as an option. But I'm gonna take this dark gray that I created I did my whiskers with it. You can do dark gray that you make, or you can do black, or depending on whatever color you created your seal, you can use that color as well. But now I'm just gonna take a minute and outline all the way around the edge of my seal. It's kind of just an easy way to help it stand out so I can create these little toes, right? All the way around and really make those details stand out. But it's really cute just the way it is too. You don't have to add this. We have a lot of artists that say, Miss Sarah, do we have to outline? Of course you don't have to if you don't want to. All right, guys, I think we about did it. If there's any little thing you wanna fix up, go for it. I just, smeared my gray, so I'm gonna go over that. It's really easy to fix if you feel like, oh, I smeared it. Just go over it with your background color. Fill it in. Just like that. Okay, now if your dots are dry on your flowers, all you have to do now if you want is put a little bit of white on those little dots so they stand out. It's the very last thing I do, and then we're gonna sign our name, because you guys did an amazing job, and I'm so proud of you, right? We just did all that together. Add a little highlight to our flowers over here if you want to. Rinse your brush. There we go. All right, where are you gonna sign your name? I'm gonna sign mine right down here by this little tail. Put Miss Sarah right here. Just like that. And you guys, you did such a good job. Thank you for painting with me. Please tag us with your pictures so we can see them too. We'll see you next time. Bye.